so we create a new variable called search name and that will be equal to this ie referencing back to the search name field and then we want to grab the value using dot val so every time we have a key up we then want to search for the uh, search for the fit uh, the search name variable inside of uh, this li here so inside this names unordered list and we want to search for each li so we need to use a selector hash names obviously because the id of the unordered list is names and then we want to say space li and then inside of this we want to say colon contains and then in brackets we want to have a value so I'm actually going to go ahead and change these single quotation marks on the outside to double quotation marks and on the inside here is the value that we're searching for and this will only select the um, li element inside of our names unordered list where this value is contained so we can append on the search name value and then we can add a class to this uh, you know obviously depending on which uh, value has been matched through what's been typed so we're going to go ahead to style.css and create a new class called highlight uh, and that's just going to be setting the background color to yellow so background color yellow and that will just highlight the area behind the li and we can go ahead and then in input highlight in there. So now what's gonna happen is when we refresh and type say for example capital A, you can now see that all the uh, li elements that contain this value using the contain selector, uh, we add the class highlight to. So we're not actually performing a search, we're just using an, a, an advanced selector to select particular elements. Now when we get rid of this, we've got a problem because we've highlighted everything now. And that's because we have actually matched nothing inside of this contains. Therefore, we've selected all li elements. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up an if statement here that, that will uh, create a condition based on uh, whether this contains anything. So what we want to do is say if search name doesn't equal nothing so if it doesn't equal nothing then we can perform the search the only problem is now that if we were to say for example type a and then uh, back again that's fine but when we when we type a space we have the problem that it highlights everything again so around search name we use jQuery.trim and this will just trim white space from the left and the right hand side of the string so now we can do as many spaces as we want inside of this box as well as typing characters going back again uh, and obviously we don't get the uh, highlighting everything effect. Now the uh, only uh, other issue here is that when we do return to nothing the um, class is not removed so just before we actually add this class we want to go ahead and remove this class beforehand so let's just pull everything up to make it look a bit neater and here what I want to do is I want to select uh, user selector with names and all li elements and I want to remove the class uh, highlight from these and what that will do is is every time we have a key up it will remove the class and then add the class if necessary so we'll get a more streamlined effect of highlighting each element so if I was to type a and then a backspace obviously that a backspace and you know no nothing in here uh, has matched so we've removed the class and we haven't then gone on to add another class if I then type Alex it highlights Alex if I type a capital B it highlights the line with Billy in it um, and again a will select all of them so you know something like this is quite useful if you have a list of say database table generated elements uh, in an unordered list it could be a list of data that you will you know wish a user to search through it could be absolutely anything but the contained selector in this case we've made uh, it more dynamic and given a better example rather than just highlighting something statically we've given the user the option to type something in so this is just an example of how it can be applied however obviously contains can be used for uh, other different elements it doesn't have to be li it can be paragraphs spans divs anything at all so uh, the contains uh, selector in this case we've used to uh, look inside li elements of an unordered list